What's going on guys, Arava here. Welcome to another F1 2016 announcement news video. There's going to be a load of these videos uploaded on the channel today over the course of Friday. Of course, you guys know I went to go test F1 2016 early in March. So I've got a lot of inside info on the announcement today. So check the channel out. If you're new around here, then do get subscribed. I'm going to be breaking down the info into different sections in different videos. So obviously go check out the different ones that you're interested in. But let's get straight into it. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the time of day editor in F1 2016, a brand new feature in the game now this is a lot like if you have played project cars you'll sort of know what this entails now on project cars you can change the time of day and that will correspond to how basically the the sun looks on the track obviously if you set it to earlier in the day the sun is just rising set it to midday the sun is at its highest and then you set it to the evening or afternoon and it's starting to get a little bit darker that includes tracks like singapore you can play singapore in the daytime during practice or a quick race if you want you can have it in the daytime and it completely changes the way Singapore looks but for every other track as well you can play it in low sunlight conditions so you can have it in the morning or the afternoon it adds a different dynamic if you're just playing quick races, you know, if you want to have a bit of a different look. But also in the career mode, you may notice from here and there, depending on when the practice sessions are in real life, you may see a kind of variation in the time of day. It's definitely nice to see it in. Personally, I don't see it as a big blockbuster feature, but it is very nice to see it in. Because obviously, games like Project Cars already have that in, so it's good to see they're finally getting up to the mark in that sense. And it does actually change the look of the game dramatically. You know, if you've got a lower sunlight, it does change how everything kind of looks. You know, the grass, the gravel, all the light that bounces off it looks very different and everything kind of reacts to it in terms of the way it does actually look and kind of it gets shaded from the sun and things like Singapore in the daytime look pretty damn mad pretty weird actually you know obviously we're not very used to seeing Singapore in the daylight unless you watch GP2 uh, at Singapore so it does look very different and you get to see probably a bit more detail in the Singapore track because a lot of it is actually covered up by you know the darkness by the shade in Singapore whereas now with the sunlight in Singapore you get to see a bit more detail in the circuit but pretty much every other circuit you know it just gets a very different experience for the time of day so just in my opinion a little feature from f1 2016 but a new one nonetheless which does change the dynamic of how the game actually physically looks graphically uh, when you play it so guys if you have enjoyed the video hit that like button let me know what you thought of it in the comments below are you happy to see it will you be using the time of day changer will you be testing things out like a morning race or an afternoon one and uh, are you happy to see it in after you know ha having it in like games like project cars already so it's sort of kind of a little bit late to the party in a sense for f1 2016 so let me know all that good stuff. If you're new around here, then do subscribe for weekly Formula 1 content. I've also uploaded loads of other F1 2016 announcement videos on the channel today, so go, do go check those out by clicking my name underneath the video. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoy the rest of the day. I've been over, and I'll see you guys next time.